what that is, what it do, but you know I have to double down on y'all with this one right here. All right, let's get straight to it. We got Lil' Cam from Fifth Ward, the alleged, one of the alleged shooters in the takeoff murder. All right, peep game. They arrested him for what we finna see right here. They arrested him for a felony possession of a firearm. Felony, then it says unlawful use of a firearm. So, they trying to say that he shot. And he had a gun and he shot that night. But they not saying murder, attempted murder, or great bodily harm. They not saying that he hit anybody. Now, if his fingerprints was on the shell casing, like I be hearing people, like I heard a couple people say, if his fingerprints was on the shell casing, they had arrested that man for murder. All they have is footage and bloggers like DJ Academics who basically replayed the tape and show the man with something in his hand. Now, even a, def even a public defender could say that that was anything, a cell phone, anything. They would have to prove that that was a weapon in his hand. And they would have to prove that he shot the weapon. So they saying that he had a loaded gun that night he was arrested on the 22nd, as we can see, of November. And then they're trying to say that he was arrested for a probation violation for having a loaded firearm um, on November 1st. That's the night takeoff was murdered. The morning takeoff was murdered November 1st because the night before that was Halloween. So... Now that we see that he was arrested for that, then they must know who gun or who bullet, who they must know who fired the gun that hit takeoff. And he was hit a couple times. I mean, I, I done seen people say he could have went through the back and went from the back, but that means he would have to been shot down. He'd have to be shot. Somebody would have to be coming from behind him and hit him downwards for it to do all that. You know what I mean? From the way it looked, it looked like he was just hit. Boom. He's kind of tall. It looked like he was just hit. Like, boom. In the back. Probably from somebody a little shorter than him. Or somebody his height who was shooting. I mean, it don't look like he, somebody came up over him. He was ducked down because he turned around and walked and was walking towards the situation because he seen his uncle arguing with somebody. Then he heard his uncle say, let's get up out of here for somebody to get hurt. That's when everybody moved. That's when the so-called alleged punch was thrown, slap was swung, whatever. Because um, we can't see the camera goes down. So for people who says that it wasn't no cameras in the hallways, it was cameras at that Bowdoin Alley and it's cameras at the House of Blues. And I'm not saying that they the cameras seen what happened. I'm just saying it's cameras there. I'm in Houston. I done went, I done been in that Bowdoin Alley uh, a year before this happened. Probably a year and some change now before it happened. Before the summer, before the summer of 2021, I've been in that bowling alley. Um, it's a sad situation, for sure. Especially to his family, when you don't get, when they, I'm pretty sure they want justice any way they can get it. They want to know who did it, why they did it. And they want somebody to handle it, if it's the streets or if it's the police. You know what I mean? 
but for everything to be recorded that night and it to be so little people there, somebody knows something, which is what the police know for a fact. You know what I mean? But they can't make nobody talk. They can't make nobody talk. They know what the word snitch means. They know how you become a snitch. They know that helping them, the streets is going to call you a snitch and something might happen to you or your family. You know what I mean? And if this was a predominantly white city, then, yeah, they wouldn't care to arrest everybody there. They wouldn't care who was, who cares, who labels you a snitch. They don't care about none of that. But since this is a predominantly black city and they understand what's going on around here, like, nah, people ain't going to talk. We can arrest them. We can do everything we want to them. We don't have any proof. We can't hold them. Um, if they don't want to talk, they don't want to talk. You know what I mean? So that's how that, that's how that goes. That's how that, that's exactly how that goes. You know what I mean? So when it comes to Lil Cam being arrested, it kind of X him out for being a murderer, being the person who killed him. <laughs> when they say he was just arrested for a violation of having a firearm that night. Yeah, I mean, and it's the weekend still. We don't know if he proved if he um, we don't know if he said he's not guilty because it was he got arrested. Then it was Thanksgiving. Then it's the weekend. So we don't know if he said not guilty or pled guilty and just going to take the little probation violation and go take a number in the penitentiary. Might maybe just uh, he might sit down in the county for a few more months. You know, I mean, it's, it's only a violation. He's only been charged with a violation. He's not. He hasn't been charged with um, a murder, attempted murder, because it was two other people shot that night. I mean, it was a female who was hit uh, in her head. She survived, and there was another. Uh, I guess the takeoffs, I mean, uh, uh, Quavo's assistant was shot too. That's an attempted murder charge. So even if they wasn't saying that he killed takeoff and he was another shooter and he hit somebody else and they run forensics. So the bullet that they took out that girl head, if they took it out, they know what gun, what gun it was, what kind of gun, what caliber gun it was. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody didn't have the same caliber gun. I mean, it looked like the Migo Bands dude had a big old 4 five. He's the only one that was uh, on camera with a gun. For real. But he didn't let off the first shots. You can see that on camera. He didn't let off the first shots. He he upped it. Then he shot when he ran. It's on camera. You know what I mean? So we can't forget about the first people that was speaking kept saying it was friendly fire, friendly fire. Now all of a sudden, people want to zoom in on the little cam dude from Fifth Ward. Well, I guess this kind of X him out from being a killer. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you look on Lil' Cam's Twitter, you don't find no dissing of Quavo. So that might be fake. Who knows? Maybe he deleted it. But you don't see no dissing of who found it. Why nobody else could find it? Yeah, you know I mean? so we gotta keep it all it up. Make sure you keep it all up here of the events that's been going down, and then what led up to Lil Cam being arrested. Somebody talking, they say he he had a firearm that night. Is what they saying.
only the people that's there would know. So if it's not somebody telling something and it's they going for what they seen on camera, then they obviously got a different view than what we have because we don't see Lil' Cam clearly with no gun. The only person you see clearly with a gun is the Migo Benz dude. And ain't no arrest being made on him. In Texas, it's a self-defense law. So if we if on camera you could see, basically he proved it, the people proved for him that he wasn't the first person who shot. So whatever shooting he did was self-defense on camera. You know what I'm saying? Whatever shooting he did was self-defense on camera. So if he was the one who hit takeoff, then it was friendly fire. Because remember, accidents, when you're using a pistol, you got to remember this. An accident is if you shoot yourself, you dis misfire, misfire it, uh, yeah, basically you shoot yourself, or you misfire. That's an accident. When you shoot somebody else with a gun, that means you upped it, pointed it. When you shoot somebody else with a gun, that's and if it's your friend, when you shoot not somebody else, when you shoot your friend with a gun, that's called friendly fire. There's no accident involved in that. Bro, that's friendly fire. Whatever comes behind you shooting your friend with a gun. That's what you deserve, bro. If people feel like they want to handle that in the streets, people, if you're going to get caught by the police and they give your ass life or whatever the fuck, that's what you deserve. You sh Ain't no such thing as an accident when you shoot somebody else. You shoot a kid, that's not an accident. You're a bad shot. You killed the kid. You shoot a pregnant woman, you're a bad shot. We can't say accident. You up the gun. Once you up it and you fire, bullets ain't got no name, bro. You're not a marksman. You didn't. You didn't get trained in the navy. In the, you didn't get trained in the military to be a sniper. You self training yourself. You training yourself. You're self training when you grow up playing with guns. You're self-training. Yeah, you might accidentally shoot yourself. You might accidentally fire off into the ground, fire off into the wall. But when you hit somebody else, it's not an accident. You're just a bad shot. You're an idiot with a gun. Guns don't kill people. Idiots with guns kill people. If you're not protecting yourself, and you just, if you shoot somebody, if Quavo wasn't shot that night, then, or the person who swung on Quavo, you're a bad shot. Whoever shot the shooting was just a bunch of just fire and people not even looking where they fired. Because a female was shot an unarmed assistant was shot and a popular rapper from Atlanta who had no smoke with nobody in the facility who probably don't even got no smoke in his own in his hometown was shot. If he 28 and they been lit for at least 12 years, at least 11 years, 11, 10, 11, 12 years. He was 16, 17, 18. Fresh out of high school. So the ops that he had back then, them niggas is just haters now. They not ops. Niggas is just haters. He ain't seeing no niggas he funking with. He, and if he was funking with somebody, 
I'm pretty sure there wasn't one of them niggas at that bowling alley, nor one of them females at that bowling alley. So, I don't know. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Stay tuned in. It's only real shit gonna be said around here. You know, it's solid subs. T. Cali, man. For sure. I'm gonna say it again. Lil' Cam was not arrested for murder or attempted murder. He was only arrested for possession of a firearm. Unlawful use means he could have they saying he shot. That's something that the courts have to prove because we don't have it on camera. Maybe they do. So when some real shit come out, I'm going to for surely let y'all know about it. I mean, was one of the first ones on here blogging about it. Because I'm like, that's fucked up what happened to bro. Mm -hmm. So, that nigga didn't deserve that shit. He was a cool dude. Um, he wasn't the one always rapping about drilling some shit. He ain't, he ain't even coming from them times, bro. He came out before that shit was hot. The only people that... Got respect for doing that shit was was niggas from Chicago where that shit originated. Now there's UK drill, Brooklyn drill. Drill came from Chicago. Them niggas ain't was never a part of the drill music. Them niggas was party music uplifting music they rapped about bugattis and shit before they could afford them now look niggas was the top the biggest rap group ever bro was is wu-tang clan and then it's the migos because wu-tang after a few years they start separating then they had come back then they will separate but the Migos stay dropping Migos shit from mixtapes to the culture um, project. It will call culture project because it's three of them. A trilogy. The culture trilogy. You know what I'm saying? So. And they dropped them strategically. They came out with some of the with the hottest cadence with some new shit. They we ain't gonna say the hottest. They came out with some new shit. And the hottest rapper, the hottest artist in the world hopped on their shit. Which made the other hot artists in the world wanna hop on their shit. Everybody wanna follow their trend. So rest in peace, take off, salute, take off, because Offset said he's the one who started that flow. And he was the he he was the one that used it the best to me. Listen to the astronaut album, whatever was that album. Spaceman, whatever. When you listen to the album, he's a rocket. Whatever. When you listen to the album, you see he's hot. He had something different going on with his. He had something different going on. So, like, comment, subscribe. Leave this right here for a little second so y'all can see it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. I'm gone, man.